of the defences, soldier. Yes, sir. Most of the 18th Legion is still combat effective. We have three auxiliary units at your command, Scorpios, archers, and a catapult nest. Somewhere secure. Secure? Nowhere secure from this, this, this demon. We need to get you to a safe place. Uh, your chambers? My chambers? No. No. The vaults. This way. Come on. Why is that door closed? There's someone in there. I think perhaps you.
Quickly! Oh, oh come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. Quickly! Damocles is risen from the dead. I swear it! Damocles? Damocles is a myth. Only men kill men, my emperor. The gods may guide us. They never interfere with the affairs of mortals. Oh! And what great oracle told you this, General? My father. We will be safe here, then. I do believe we will be safe. I pray to the gods that we will be safe. Oh, we will be safe here, Emperor. As safe as we can be. Safe? Yes, yeah, safe, thank God. But you... What family... What's your name, soldier? Marius. But my name is of no import. My story, however, is... My father taught me that we are fated by the gods, but that we alone choose our path. You were fated to be an emperor, and I, a soldier. My father's sense of honor drove him to follow a path that served the people. But what drove us to take the paths we did? What made us the men that we are today? My story begins some 10 years past. Father. Marius? It's good to see you again. Oh, how do I look? Every inch the Roman soldier. You look fine, my son. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. Do you know where you're to be posted? Alexandria. Ah, Alexandria. That's a quiet province. Your mother will be pleased. I didn't join the army to bask in the sun, father. I want to fight like you did for the empire. All in good time, my son. All in good time. Remember, not all your enemies will be found on the battlefield. Father? Marius! <sighs> Let me look at you. So handsome. Mother, please. Your sister is eager to see you. You will see her soon enough, my love. For now, I wish to speak with our son alone. Fine. I shall go and find your sister. Is there something troubling you, father? We will talk in good time. For now, let's see what you've learned. It's a sad, but proud day, the day a son first beats his father. He may have mastered the sword, but never rushed to meet the world with it drawn. Always come open-handed first. Walk with me, son. I've heard rumors there is great unrest in Rome. Yes, these are dangerous times we live in. This election could change everything. I'm giving this to you as your grandfather once gave it to me. When your time comes to command men of your own, think back on what I'm about to tell you. Legend says that Damocles was a great warrior. A revered leader in a vast army.
during a massive battle, his cowardly commanders abandoned him. When the slain Damocles arrived in the underworld, Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, was enraged at how the brave hero had been treated. She allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit, a ghostly, black-armored centurion, who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him. To this day, many commanders carry a dagger with the image of Damocles on the scabbard. This dagger reminds them to always look after their men, or risk the Black Centurion returning from the dead to avenge their selfish mistakes. Sectima! Barbarians! Follow me! Listen, they mean to kill us, Marius. We must get to the Senate House to save my people. That way, there lies your destiny. Run. You must save Rome. Save it from... Save it from there. You bastards! You murdering barbarian bastards! I will do as you bid, Father. I will save Rome from them. I'll spill their blood. I'm Commander Vitalian of the 14th. I fought with your father. If it's blood you want, I promise I will give you as much as you can handle. You were the second, aren't you? Yes, sir. Not anymore. Welcome to the 14th, lad. Italian oversaw the completion of my training and made good on his promise. As part of the 14th, I'd soon have all the blood I could ever want. The island of Britannia, that fetid lair at the edge of our empire, was home to the bastards that had slaughtered my family and led the very rebellion which had spewed onto the streets of Rome. 
My posting with the 14th would take us to these isles, where I would wreak my revenge, crushing this insurrection. Sorry, my friend. On me! Formation! Lower your shields, men! Let's go! Shields, lads! Hold for us!
The brave man tastes death once. Cowards, a thousand times over. Now we have already spilled barbarian blood. And we know they bleed as we do. Ready! On me! Just get here. Legionaries! Form the line! Come on, lads! Let's take this fort! Move! 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 Point defense is in position! Oh.
command of battalion! Many good officers and men were lost today. Marius, you have proved that you can lead. You have earned the respect of the men. So, take this helmet and put it on. Legionaries! Salute your new centurion! Settle down, lads. Now! You know what you can expect from these barbarians. They are a race of rabid bastards who will fight us tooth and nail. But they don't know what they are up against. Rome! Is civilization! Rome! is order! Rome is power! And out here, we are Rome! Commander, King Oswald's barbarian army is advancing on York. General Commodus and the 6th cohort engage the enemy, but their fate is unknown. Secure the remaining boats and get them unloaded, and prepare the men. We march for York! Our march north towards the rebel heartland was brutal. Progress was slowed by battle after bloody battle against these embittered tribes. Rome had brought peace, rich trade and prosperity to these isles. This peace had been shattered by open rebellion. Now, finally, we were closing in on the very birthplace of this revolt, where King Oswald and his warrior daughter ruled. Inform me that a large barbarian army is fast approaching. Now, if they manage to meet up with this army, we don't stand a chance. York will fall. By the gods, the hairy ass bastards must outnumber us 20 to 1. In a straight fight, we'll suffer heavy losses. Or well, we're not going to attack. Their leader, King Oswald, and his daughter Boudica, are down there amongst them. If we capture him, the tribal chiefs will have to sue for peace to secure his safe release. Then Oswald will be forced to bow his knee and swear an oath to Rome. And these Britons, they are honorable in their own way. They have no honor. These vermin dare to stand against the might of Rome. They deserve to suffer our retribution. Our retribution? Or yours? Sir, I Enough! We will end this rebellion my way and not put the lives of good men at unnecessary risk. Is that understood, Centurion? Understood, Commander. Very well. A small detachment will infiltrate the enemy camp and capture Oswald and Boudicca. I will lead our main force and cut off their reinforcements. And what are my orders, sir? I promised you blood, didn't I? You will capture Oswald and Boudicca. Before you can get your men through safely, you will need to deal with the archers posted on the aqueduct. So you'll be starting out alone. Understood, sir. 
is an honor. Gods, what fate is this? Death by traps and strangulation. This must be what's left of the Fourth Legion. approach. Position your archers on the roadside and prepare yourselves to fire on my command. Yes, ma'am. Should be a way up here. It's clear! Advance!
Shields, men! Oh! I'll scout their position. Sir, pass his way to the... Gods, we fight for the glory of Rome. What kind of glory is this? The Britons will never commit to peace if this is how we treat them. This must be the work of the Praetorians. Friends of Rome, may I present to you Basilius, son of the Emperor. Command of Italian. Congratulations on your safe arrival. Had it been any later, you might have missed out on all the fun. <laughs> I do trust your journey was not too arduous. Sir, I would like to... Our Praetorian to... Guard will take over now. Guards. Seize the Briton scum. Your Highness, I must protest. In case you're unaware, my brother Commodus is still missing. I intend to find out what these savages have done with him. We Britons lived in peace under the rule of the old Roman chieftain. But this new chieftain, Commodus, son of your king, is evil. He deserves the fate that he is suffering. I have nothing more to say. Then it is clear to me that you Britons do not love as we Romans do. Your girl. She is beautiful. Flog her until he talks, or she dies. Whichever comes first. No! Hold her! How out. dare you! How dare you? I am son of the Emperor, and I do whatever I choose. Please! No! Please! Spare her! I'll tell you everything! Chieftain Commodus was traded to the Horn King in the Northern Lands. Beyond the Wall. Please, release my daughter. I beg of you. See? There's really only one language these people understand. The language of force. You will find your chieftain in darkness beyond the wall. 
where the lowering barren mountains tower over the black, bottomless lots. Horned men from ancient times roam this land, and of those who venture there, few return. Commander Battalion, I have a new mission for you. You will lead your men north to the lowering mountains and bring back my brother. Guards, lock up the prisoners. Ready the men! You heard the commander! Make ready to march! Centurion, we march north. Yes, sir! Vitalian led our forces further north, beyond the borders of our empire to the edge of the world. We fought against warriors, more beast than men, so fearsome that even Rome's elite legions had failed to conquer them. Oswald's foreboding words haunted us as we marched ever deeper into the unforgiving darkness. Horned men from ancient times roam these lands, and of those who venture there, few return. This fort, Glot's Hop, it's rumored to be the gateway to Hades, a place of fire and death. I worry that what happens here on the edge of the world could soon befall the Empire itself. <laughs> <laughs>